is a lucky ow. Lucky block. Anything hostile? Besides possibly the block itself and the drops to get to it? A mushroom. Cute. I feel like Zoe from the Yogscast may have had a hand in designing some of these random lucky block events. And zombies, of course. Can't have a safe day, can we? Stop the storm or skip the night. This is nothing useful. In fact, it might be worse than nothing useful. It might be my grave. Nope, I think I can get out. Yep, there we go. What in the hell is that? That is a cow in a funny cake hat. And that is a sheer cliff. Oh god. Okay, the... I've missed my mark on signing off on the YouTube side of things, so... I'll just continue on. Still night, but the storm is over. That's slightly helpful. Let's see. And spiders. How perfect is this? Spiders and skeletons. And Party. an event that what spawns those stick. monkey things. Random grave. Oh, the spider is still on me. And that monkey thing has spotted me. this just be friendly for one day? This is supposed to be a mod pack about the magic of nature. I haven't even gotten a chance to explore that even slightly. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> and of course, there's one of them. Is that berry bushes? It's not much food, but... It's a start. I only need a little bit more. Oh, I'm already regenerating. And monkey found me, and a zombie. Flax. Is that a naturally spawned farm of some sort? It is, but there is nothing grown in it yet. Interesting water feature. Heading into a witchwood biome from the look of the minimap. Pear trees. Creeper, 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 of course. This game does not like me today. And I'm having insanely low frame rate to top it off. Ooh. Ars Magica Seru Blossom. Uh, these pears aren't ripe. Nor are the walnuts, but we have uh, these random vegetable gardens from Harvest Craft. So I actually have a small supply of food. There. Now I'm all set food-wise, or hunger-wise. Let's get some wood so I can get a proper start, now that I seem to be in a relatively safe place. Or not safe. Okay, it's a skeleton with a sword. That must be something added by one of the mods, unless it's new to... 1.7. I thought he could get around my wall of swinging logs. And he had a sword, but he dropped an arrow. Very sensible. That's a little bit of wood to start. Mushroom garden. Nice. Nothing that I can eat right off the bat, but... Okay. Let's do a little bit more tree cutting. So, as you know, pro if you've been watching my YouTube channel, 
I was at a convention this past, not this past, well, yes, this past weekend, because it's currently the new... Anyway, I was at HALCON, which is a local science fiction, fantasy, generic geek culture. That zombie lost, a uh, skeleton lost his head. And I've done a small, um, unboxing type video. Which was quite fun. At the convention itself, I I completely forgot to do any recording, even though I was planning on doing some, like, clips of the different cosplays that... Huh. Nice hobbit hole. With a slime slayer sword. It's dangerous to go alone, take this. I think I'm gonna live here. At least as a start. Anyway, at the convention, um, as I said, I forgot to take any recording, but there were some very awesome costumes people were in. Well, obviously people were in them. Uh, and they had some pretty big-name guests, if you're a fan of, um, Game of Thrones, there was Christian Nairn, who is Hodor. Uh, they also had Colin Ferguson from the old sci-fi series Eureka, and more recently, um, Haven. Uh, Garrett Wong, Harry Kim from Star Trek Voyager, Michelle Forbes, who was um, Ensign Rowe on Next Generation, uh, who else was... I can't at, off the top of my head remember who else was there, but oh dear. Ooh. A little bit of... oh! He split. I forgot slimes do that. Okay. This is actually a pretty decent area. Oh, just a ruin. What the... oh boy! What the hell is that? Oh, wow. <sighs> of course. Right back where we started. You know what? Now that it's daylight, I can actually go back and, um... hopefully get some of my old stuff back. Except that one of those monkey things is around. I have no idea what mob makes that cat-like sound. I should have looked before I leapt. Or leaped, whatever. 